Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And today I'm doing a real quick episode on a Fostex MR8 HD multi-track digital recorder. So stick around. Okay, so today we're playing around with this MR8 HD multi-track recorder. Uh, just sold it on Reverb. Gentleman would like to uh, kind of make sure everything works on it, which is great. I thought I had done a video on it already, but I didn't. It turns out it was the MR8 uh, MK2. And uh, so this is a little different. It's got four inputs uh, and it's got a hard disk drive in it, actual three and a half inch hard disk drive that you record on, whereas the HR8 MK2 has a flash drive that you can remove. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I got it all plugged in. I got outputs going to uh, the board here so we can hear it. So power supply blinks when you plug it in. It uh, plugs in with a D plug, so that's cool. You don't have to have a fancy uh, DC adapter or whatever. So you turn it on. One thing that I did notice on this machine, because it does have a hard disk drive in it, uh, it's susceptible, susceptible to uh, being jiggled or moved or impact because, you know, hard drives are a spinning disk. And uh, if you thump this on the table or, or treat it rough, it can throw that out of balance and then you, you might lose your screen or it might not boot up properly. So I think there might be a... Uh, you know, some hard drives have that damage suppression in them so they won't spin up if they fear they're, they're being damaged. So it takes a minute for it to come up. But this one comes up and then you, you can adjust the contrast also by holding down contrast and turning this wheel so you can actually see it. Because when I first got this machine, I thought it wasn't working uh, because the screen was completely black. But I did some digging on YouTube and, of course, found out that, uh, that the contrast was just set wrong on it. So real quick, we have four inputs. Uh, we have XLR balanced inputs. We have a guitar uh, quarter, quarter inch input. Uh, these are unbalanced, these quarter inch inputs. Uh, input A actually has an insert input. So if you want to use outboard gear for effects, uh, this one has built in distortion. Uh, if you want to plug a guitar into it, uh, your trim knobs are here for adjusting line level or mic level. Uh, this is your display. You go into your menus with this and control it with this dial. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll test it out real quick to make sure everything's working. So I got my, my phone here with uh, some music on it. Uh, my music from uh, Spotify. And we'll plug in the quarter inch. And we'll bring it up and make sure everything is working. Hopefully I have it uh, set to, uh, I don't have any input for some reason. Output, do I have this in the right spot? Yep, master. Oh, you got to hit record. You have to record enable. Let's see. Oops, I'm not, I'm in the. Okay, I gotta go back. There we go. Okay, so if you record enable, hit record here, now you can hear the playback. So, faders work, no uh, crackle, no crackle in the quarter inch jack. Uh, no crackling in that pot. Uh, we'll try. Now, in order to uh, activate all four inputs, you have to select uh, more than one record enable at a time because it'll only do, if you're recording one track at a time, it'll only use input A. So that's interesting. And that works just fine. This one too. And there's an effects here you can hear the reverb so it's got built-in reverb room hall plate delay x 
excellent. And like I said, this is your reverb. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, so that works. Let's try out our our uh, XLR connectors or inputs rather. If I can find the end of my cord, there it is. Check, 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 check. And uh, you gotta remember to use your trim, uh, your line, uh, your trim, because a mic is a uh, very low level line level. You can adjust uh, going into it. Um, Whereas a mic is, you know, it's just picking up, you know, sound and there's no power uh, coming from it. You can't adjust the volume on the mic. So this is where your uh, trim comes in. And, okay, we'll throw some reverb on there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can get it out. And check, 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 check. Mic, mic, level, check, 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 reverb. There we go. Check, 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 check. It sounds good. Preamps sound pretty good. Check, 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 one, 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 check, check, check. 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 And you can actually, you can actually adjust, adjust the uh, all the delay and the what you might call it on your effects inside the menu, but we won't do that. Okay, so all that stuff seems to work pretty good. Okay, let's uh, try to record something real quick. Oh, they're peaking. It's got a light for peak levels. All right. Everything I need gets a little more out of focus. Okay, and but then you I hit record you play. Right me. And you can see here, you're recording. You it gives you a count. Now you can see. Maybe you can lower this a little bit, maybe. Nothing's picture perfect, it's no fairy tale. Here's your. And it actually has a beat detection, so it can detect the beats, the tempo of the song. Okay, and you actually rewind. So you rewind it. Turn your record off, and you hit play. And there you go. We'll do uh, the rest of these. And it tells you which input is which in here. It has a little A, B, C underneath the track. So we're actually in B. Uh, record enable. And we will record, play. Oh, I didn't rewind it, did I? There we go. Okay. Clearly I can see there we go. The way we're meant to be. Clearly I can see how much you mean to me. Clearly you're Clearly I can see I can to be. You got both. So I'm pretty sure that all the record, you know, all the tracks work. Uh, there shouldn't be any reason why they, they wouldn't. Uh, and then you can bounce tracks to uh, these two stereo inputs. And uh, so you effectively end up with eight tracks. Uh, it's really a four track, four input recorder, uh, but you can bounce down to uh, these two stereo tracks, either five or six or seven and eight. And, oh, and then you can actually, you can bounce tracks one through six down to seven and eight. Uh, 
And then I think once you're done, you can bounce everything down to another file and then open that in a new, uh, a new, you know, instance, or, you know, a new job file or new song file. Uh, you have an amp simulator here uh, that's similar to the H uh, MR8 MK2 that we reviewed a little while back. Um, I suppose we could put something in there and see if it worked. Trying to do this one quick just so we can get it out. Oops. We'll let you hear how badly this. Okay, now you gotta adjust the back. There's input on the back for guitar distorted, guitar clean, and mic lines. So we're gonna go distorted, guitar. And we need to record and able to hear our Doesn't sound real loud. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Or what? trim on. No. You just get distortion or clean. There's quite a delay too. So yeah, I'm not sure I would use that. Put it over on the clean and see what that's. Yeah, that sounds good. It's just there's quite a, a lag. So that works. Okay, I think that just about does it. Again, this is the Fostex MR8 HD, uh, which I think stands for hard drive because it, it has a hard drive in it, three and a half inch hard drive. Uh, you can reformat the hard drive. Uh, you can save to WAV files. I think that's how it saves it on the hard drive, and you can export them into your DAW. Um, other than that, it's a great little machine. Uh, it's very similar to the MR8 MK2, which I really like, uh, especially that one because it's uh, you can operate it battery powered, so you can. It's really truly a mobile uh, device. Uh, so there you go. It's uh, really clean. I uh, got a little bit of dust here and there, but we'll take care of that before we ship it out. And uh, I hope that the new owner enjoys it and gets a lot of use out of it. So thanks for tuning in.